What's up? In this video, we're learning part three to classical gas, kind of the pre-chorus, I guess you would say. But let's jump into the video. Hey guys, my name is Evan Video, and welcome to part three of this awesome classical gas series. This is this is really an amazing guitar song. But if this is our first time meeting, welcome to the Evan DiDio show. My name is Evan DiDio, and on this channel we aim to bring fun, family-friendly guitar tutorials, product reviews, and vlogs, that kind of stuff here on YouTube, bringing musicians tips and tools to help build their repertoire of stuff that they can do. So thank you again for joining us. Now, this is part three in the series, like I said in the beginning, and we're learning classical gas. Now, this is kind of the pre-course to the song. We've already learned the intro, kind of the verse. I'll just call this the pre-chorus just because it sounds like the pre-chorus leading up to the chorus. So that's what we'll be working on in today's video. So make sure you subscribe for the rest of the videos and for other content that I think you will enjoy, especially the vlogs where I really show you what I'm like. Comment below if you have any questions, like this video if you like the content, but without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial section of this video. But remember, the first video in this series, I talked about a lot of important practice techniques, so I really recommend checking that out first, even if you've already learned the first part. I really recommend looking at that, because it took me six months to learn this song, and I found a lot of ways that'll make it easier for you to learn it, and I talked about that in the first video, so if you'd like to check that out. Again, all the stuff is linked up in the description below, different versions, all kinds of different people. And I asked this question in the last video, I'm gonna ask you guys too, which version do you prefer, Tommy Manuel's version, or Mason Williams version. I have both linked up in the description below. You can check them out. Oh, on YouTube, here we go, here we go. I've got this little car right here. You can vote right there, it's perfect. Go ahead and vote right there and let me know what you think. Maybe we can talk about that in a future. What just happened? Maybe we can talk about that in a future video. I don't know what that was. Here we go. <laughs> it's like I chose just the right time of day to shoot. We got this sun blaring on my face. It's, eh. There's not much I can do right now. <laughs> It's so hard not to keep going with that, but that's the part we will be learning. It starts off on the A minor chord. Well, actually, an A2, if you want to get specific. We're using our thumb on the A string, first finger on the D string, second finger on the G string, and third finger over here on the B string. We're coming back to this G shape hitting the G string, and then hitting the B string and hammering on with our first finger to that first fret. Coming back to an A minor. Then we go up to this chord with our second finger on the second fret of the A string and third finger on the third fret of the B string. And then we come up to a C chord. Hit the G string after we hit the A string. Hit after we hit the A string and the G string. Put our pinky up here on the third fret of the B string. We're doing an almost A minor chord here. We're just not putting any fingers on the D string because we're using our third finger to hit the third fret of the B string again. Then we're hitting the D string, first finger on the first fret of the B string, and then open B string. Next, we're starting the walk up here. We're hitting with our third finger and th thumb right here. Ah, that sun is, yeesh. and there's not, I can't really do much about it in the spot that I'm in. I promise there's nothing I can do. Well, I can move the camera, that would solve a lot. We're hitting the B string and the A string, hitting the G string, coming back to this almost G shape again. Hitting the open B string and E string at the same time and then the G string. Same, same strings, except you do the A string instead of the low E string on the A minor chord. Coming up 
to this chord again with our second finger on the second fret of the A string and pinky on the third fret of the B string. Hitting this C chord now, this is a little different. We're doing a kind of walk down on the, we hit the A string and the E string at the same time. Hit the B string, then the G string. Then we come up to the F chord and do the same thing. Do the D chord, except we're hitting the D string instead of the A string. Then we're doing the G chord. Now I like doing this version of the G chord, because I like hitting that third fret of the B string in there. And then we're hitting the low E string, and our third finger on the high E string on the fourth fret here. Open E, fifth fret of the E string, open E, and then seventh fret of the E string. So now I'm gonna play through all of what we just went over slowly so that we can play along with me. One, two, ready, here we go, and. so hard not to keep going. All right guys, so that is it for the third part. Thank you very much for watching. Now remember, this is kind of tricky because a lot of things are happening in this spot. There's a time change, like the time signature literally changes. It's crazy, all right? You can listen to the song, see if you can hear it yourself. And really just the normal routine changes because you're so used to the da 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 and you do that over and over and over again, and then you get to that spot and everything's like, whoa. Put on the brakes, and then go super fast. So that's probably why this is gonna be a little trickier for you, but I know that you can get it with a little bit of practice, of course. Again, make sure you subscribe, ding the little bell to get notified, comment if you have any questions, like this video and share it with your friends if you enjoyed it. But I think that's pretty much it. I will see you in the next video. Peace.